So if you have a vehicle and you think you have a bad high pressure fuel pump, I thought I'd go over the symptoms of a bad high pressure fuel pump and how you go about telling if it has failed. And so first of all, what is a high pressure fuel pump? Well, it's basically just an advanced mechanical fuel pump that'll inject high pressure fuel into the cylinders of GDI engines, gasoline directed engines. And this has a lot of benefits. You can get better emissions, you get improved fuel economy, and the engine can have more power. And a GDI system is going to have two fuel pumps. It's going to have a fuel pump inside the gas tank that's sending out like 40 to 75 PSI of pressure. And then up at the top of the engine is going to be the high pressure fuel pump. And this is going to be creating some very high pressures. It's going to vary depending on the vehicle how high the pressure is going to go. But they can get up to around 2,500 PSI. And so what are going to be some symptoms of a failing high pressure fuel pump? Well, sometimes you could hear a rattling noise going on inside the engine compartment. And the reason for this is that there's a spring and this will ride right up on top of the cam. There'll be a cam lobe that that spring is sitting on that's pushing it very quickly and creating the high pressure fuel. And there's a small plunger that goes inside of there that can also be called like a roller or a follower, however you want to call it. And this very commonly becomes wore out or it could just become damaged, completely come apart. And when this happens, it could cause issues. It can also cause noises. And this is fairly common with high pressure fuel pumps. Again, it's going to vary on the engine exactly what's going on, but the first symptom is going to hear some kind of rattling noise. The check engine light very likely will also come on. And if you read the engine code, you're going to get something like a fuel pressure code or even like a misfire code or something like that. For example, you might get something like a P0087 fuel rail system pressure too low or something along those lines. And so that's another symptom. The engine might be hard to start. You might also get stalling. It might start to stall out at certain times. Another very common symptom is that when you go to accelerate and you're between like 2000 and 4000 RPM, then you'll start to get hesitation or sputtering or something along these lines because that high pressure fuel pump's not putting out the high pressure the engine needs when the engine's revving up, then it's not going to have the same acceleration like it used to have. And it can also cause it to have poor gas mileage, low power, or even a rough idle. And so how would you go about testing a high pressure fuel pump? Well, first of all, the gas pressure inside of these can be very high. So there's procedures on how you go about releasing the high fuel pressure before you go to work on it. So definitely keep that in mind. Be sure to get the manual for it or the procedures to release the pressure on it before you do any work on it. Because you definitely don't want that high pressure fuel just bursting out and getting all over you. But basically, the first thing you do is you test the fuel pump inside the gas tank because you want to make sure that's sending fuel up to the high pressure fuel pump. You have to get specifications for your particular vehicle on what the pressure should be. But the one in the gas tank is usually around 40 to 75 PSI. And if that checks good, then the next thing to do would be to remove the high pressure fuel pump. And you're going to want to check these plungers, be sure that they look like they're good, that it's not all wore down or cracked or anything like this or any damage going on to it. You also want to examine that cam lobe, be sure that it looks like it's good, that it's not damaged or anything. And you can also examine the sensor that's on there and you could do some tests on it to see if it's failed. And like I said, there can be some differences on how these work, the pressures that they put out, and exactly what's going on with them. So if you are going to work on a high fuel pressure system, be sure to get the manual for it and definitely get the procedure for how you release the pressure in the lines before you do any work on them. Because that gas pressure can be very high that's inside those lines. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over the symptoms of a bad high pressure fuel pump and what to look for if you think it is failing. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.